What makes us feel comfortable is, uh, is nature. That's why I want to create an oasis in the middle of its city. An oasis made of nature, an oasis made of people, an oasis made of unbelievable things that are gonna happen. Ora in Italian I mean now, ora sound like an aura around somebody with a lot of soul. Aura is, you know, it's now, it's connection with nature, it's love, it's family, it's passion, and friends and gatherings and beautiful evenings, you know, with great food and great conversation and just and all this is the soul of Kazatua. When people are surrounded by nature, uh, they feel better. Gardo asked me if I wanted to do a project with him. I accept the challenge because uh, he's always uh, trying to surprise people. Ora is a, a really a conceptual creation of a great group of people that love to work together, but we're also very close friends and really understand each other in the way that we think about delivering not only a building, but an experience. And the challenge is, how do we bring the component of nature, how do we bring this into the center of Miami? At Fortune, we designed with a purpose and we designed from the inside out. And what the space does for you is extremely important to us. Wherever I go, wherever we are, we're always looking at things and recreating and thinking, how can we bring this to Miami? How would this impact and improve the way our customer, our buyer lives? That really is the philosophy at Fortune. That is what keeps us going on every day. To design a lifestyle, to design a place in their lives that from the moment they open the door, it feels like home. Well, Casa Tua really understand the concept of, of sophistication and simplicity at the same time. We want to create really an oasis. A place where you forget that you're in the middle of the, one of the most crazy metropolis in the United States that, that where you feel the energy but you protect it in a certain way. I asked Bernardo for pressure of the tonica why there's very few buildings in Miami where in the tropics and we don't have we don't have nature in this building. We don't have very little landscape, a lot of cement. And I want to change that. You know they once asked Picasso which one of the, your periods do you like the best? And he said, the next one. You always like the next thing you're doing. And in a way, in this building is sort of the next thing. I mean, I've done many buildings around the world, but you always think, what is the right solution for the right location, for the right purpose, and for the right moment in history? We can do better. And uh, we can create the building that represent a little bit what people would like to see now. Collaborating with Architectonica and Bernardo for Brescia is, is really natural for us. Really, aesthetics are very important. 
But today, it's most of, more about functionality. It's about the spaces that are being used. It's about the designing from the inside out. And Bernardo really understands that, and the team uh, puts it together in a very, very creative way, but it's also a very functional way. So there are multiple layers of experiences that are outdoors, that are connected to nature, that are connected to the environment, the beautiful weather, and you can enjoy the city from a very different perspective than you normally would. The, the young generation now live sometime in a different way. They wake up because they have an idea, they want to work on it at three, four o'clock in the morning. People go running at one o'clock in the morning. I see that all the time in Miami. So I want to create a place where they can meet, where they can create together. And they have, and it's open for them 24 hours a day. Human relations and the contact between people is exactly what we're looking here. And, and rather than being enclosed, we want to be open, we want to be active, we want to really want people to be enjoying the spaces. We want to be the city's amenity and having spaces that are, that are useful, that are, that are practical for users. Um, society is always evolving. There's always um, a new way of thinking about living about working, and buildings reflect the changes in society. And I think there's a new appreciation for the environment, for greenery, for being outdoors. And to some extent, this building is ex exemplary in the sense that it's telling the story of our times and the new appreciation for nature. And that, I think, is the best way to start the journey of a project that is going to be full of passion, full of love, full of the thing that make people happy and that's what I'm sure we're going to do.